don't even know where to start with this. How will you come to Australia in wet season? It's time for the crocodile tour. Good in there. Oh, I love a bit of whisker. Here it is. How happy I am to be back in Melbourne. It's our last society. Kardashian style. Hello gorgeous angels. Welcome back to the Australia vlogs. Pretty sure this is Australia episode five. We are into pretty much our last week in Australia. We just made it to Cairns which is our last like road trip space. If you watch the previous vlog I've literally just ended it. Just did a little change after a seven hour drive and we are headed straight out in Cairns. One we're starving and two you know you just feel like stir crazy. If you've ever road tripped you'll understand like after you've done come on sony cooperate <laughs> if you've done a long road trip you will just know you want to get out you want to get out of the the van the situation you just want to get out and explore so like i said we are in cairns which is our final store we're actually flying out of here on wednesday it is currently friday the 15th and it is 10 to 6 so we left early beach at this morning at about nine o'clock and we're here so we've got all of obviously today saturday sunday monday tuesday there's so much to do here it's a really good just like hub like a central hub sorry i've got the aircon on it is 33 degrees outside essentially i found the higher you go up one the hotter it is even when it looks cloudy it's so hot and it's so humid like i wouldn't even say i've got relatively frizzy hair here no 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 the hair's never down the hair's over scraped back it's in braids it's like in a claw clip it's never down so i'm so excited to be here it looks insane on like tiktok and everything it just looks really beautiful you can see the great barrier reef here there's like really cute beautiful waterfalls like walks there's islands that you can get the ferry to really lovely beaches the first thing that we're going to do tonight is just head out to actual just like cairns we're about a 10 minute drive out of the what do they call it here s the, the beach from basically and we are gonna go to like the night market tonight and grab some food have a just you know like have a little walk around get our surroundings a little bit so i just want to say welcome back get excited for a, another traveling vlog this honestly has just been the best trip and i'm getting a little bit sad in my feels because it's coming to an end but i'm also so excited so let's have the best week get excited buckle up get comfortable and we're gonna have the best four or five days here and we're gonna have a really fun evening so let's go i'm just waiting for Ollie to come back from the toilet here he is let's go okay guys we made it to the night market it looks very busy there's meant to be really nice food here i don't know if we we'll decide to eat here but there's meant to be really nice food those are stalls they run every night here these are reviews Australia in wet season without telling me. 
absolutely peeing it down. We have come to the oldest rainforest in the world, which is called Daintree Rainforest. So there's a few little spots that you can stop off at. So sort of on the way into the rainforest, there's somewhere called Mossman Gorge, which should be like a really cute, calm, natural swimming spot. However, it is absolutely like tipping it down. Like you can barely even see the mountains so we've come here it is 11 o'clock we just grabbed a little bit of breakfast on the way and there's like buses here so things aren't cancelled like tours must be going on but there's like a little bit of a walk and then you get to the swimming spot and obviously you could swim in it but it's not really giving the vibes but then excitingly we booked a little crocodile tour which apparently goes ahead in any weather because the boat's like all weather safe so you sort of go either up the river or down the river it costs us 20 pound each which i thought was so good it was like 80 dollars or 76 dollars and i don't know how long the tour is but it gives you like a pass for 30 days so you can go up the river or down the river there's like two separate tours i guess we'll just choose whichever one to go on when we're there um and you can see like crocodiles in their natural habitat alligators snakes all sorts from the reviews it looks quite good and i think like on all the reviews people had seen things so we should be able to see like some crocodiles and stuff in the river which is kind of scary but also kind of fun so i thought i'd obviously bring you guys along for the day i'm wearing my little swimming costume from boohoo and zara shorts but i don't really think there's going to be much swimming going on really wish you would have brought just some i don't even know what like we've got tracksuits but we're just going to get absolutely drained because the rain here is so wet you know sometimes at home the rain is like dry rain you don't really get that wet it's so wet here like you end up like a drained rat so yeah we're going to try and wait it out and then hopefully get out and do the little walk see the gorge and then carry on the drive i think it's like half an hour and we get to go on like a ferry so you take the car van whatever on the ferry go across and then you get into the rainforest so yeah that's what we're up to today hopefully the rain just comes and goes it says that it's gonna stop in like 20 minutes so fingers crossed <laughs> and then there's like a suspension bridge to actually get to the gorge but it says swimming is not a place today because it's really dangerous so <laughs> okay guys i saw these on tiktok and we had to get them i've been looking for them in all the woolworths they're hot cross buns filled with this scuff i have to do a taste test and then we'll drive. We've got, we've got half an hour drive to the next place in the rainforest that we're going to go to. Mossman Gorge was definitely somewhere to visit. You could have done like an hour and a half walk, but to be honest, we're a little bit frightened about the snakes. So we just do like the mini walk and then came back on ourselves. But it is really nice, and I can imagine if you could swim, it was like on the bread today, like you couldn't swim. Nice. Really nice. So, what if you could off. swim? So nice. I love a hot cross bun. They're everywhere here. I know they are at home too, but like, I haven't got any. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Mine's all on the one side. Good in there. Oh, I love a bit of biscuit. In recent years, I think I prefer Biscoff to Nutella. Mm. Like I could sit with a spoon in a bowl of Biscoff. I love the feeling it keeps on your tongue. Even a Biscoff biscuit's nice. Mm. But everyone loves Oreo. Mm. But no one really eats Oreo, do they? No, yeah. Also, Ollie's got horrible crisps, aren't they? No, I don't really. What are they? Sweet. Sweet chili and sour cream. Mm -mm. We don't really buy them the same crisp, but we love these. We got a pack the other day and we literally, well, we had to put them away because we were eating them so fast. What other flavour are you get? Mm. 
someone commented on my last vlog saying I love how chilled Ollie is. Who's <laughs> not? It's just camera shy. <laughs> I thought how funny the illusion of social media. Ollie's brother actually sent me the comments and it made me laugh. Um It's just camera shy guys. But we're gonna eat, we've got 27 minutes drive and then there is like a little calf there. And our tour is at three o'clock, it's currently quarter past one, so we've got plenty of time to get there and have a little wander around before we go. Okay guys, it's time for the crocodile tour. We were just speaking to the ladies who kind of work there and they said they're also coming on it because apparently there's a croc out, that's what she said. There's a croc out and it's Eating with a- Eating a carcass. Is that what it said? I thought she said yeah. with a calf. And tell them about the snake skin. Oh yeah. So Ollie's just like messing around in the souvenir shop, obviously, looking at everything. One, there's a stuffed crocodile which is bizarre. And then secondly, there's like a didgeridoo, which is just like an, an instrument, like a cultural, Australian cultural old instrument. And it was on the cabinet. And on top, there was like an old snake skin that had like shedded on top. And Ollie was like, look, and I was like, it's obviously not. And then he actually was like to the lady, eh, look at this. And she was like, oh, I didn't even see. And I was like, oh, that means there's probably a snake in there, which is she mad. She started saying she loves them. Yeah, she was like, oh yeah, we love snakes. She was like, they keep the rats away. But I'd rather just have none, none, no you know, snakes, no rats. You know, some people say, oh, spiders keep them. Skip, yeah, true. Skip the flies away. She said that she like handles them. She said Same sometimes she opens her cabinet up and there's three snakes having an orgy in her pots and pans. And I thought that's too much for me. That is and too then she much says, for me, she though. Says she puts them back in and lets them finish. Yeah, she, yeah just finish. I was like, what do you mean? Bizarre. <laughs> this is where we are. We we're just in a little like village called Dane Tree. There was just like a little bar and we just got a coke while we waited because we got here pretty early. We didn't end up having lunch, by the way. We just had those snacks in the car. So I guess that's the boat we're going on. The river looks huge. There's actually like a big yellow warning sign that says, warning crocs inhabit here. I'm a little bit nervous, I can't lie, I don't really thrive in situations like this, but I'm in my safe. They do this tour like multiple times a day, so this is the river. I think it's that one on the right that we're going on, the green one. So I guess I'll show you if we see anything, and then we'll give you a little review once we're done. Hey, crazy, so they live in there. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So, the croc tour. We didn't talk to you last night because when we got back, it was really dark. But the croc tour, how fun was it? It was really good. It was really good. I'd really encourage you guys to come if you ever come over here to go and do one. And we, 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 I would say that we didn't do like a really like touristy one. There's one called Hartley's Crocodile Tour, but I don't think the crocodiles are vague. But I don't think the crocodiles are actually in the wild. I think they're sort of placed around and they feed them off. At, the, at this one called Hartley's, and I saw it online. And when we were driving, I kept seeing it to see like Hartley's Crocodile Adventure. It was like signposted around, whereas what we went on was literally a, like a small family business. There was only us two and then another couple from America. So there was only the four of us. And basically the, the cow thing that I said about yesterday, I didn't film it because I just thought no one really needs to see that. But we did see it and it was just like, it was one of those things where I was thinking, when will we ever see a crocodile with a cow in the river? Even the people who lived on the river all their life come out to see the crocodile yeah, and uh, said they'd never seen it. Yeah, like everyone was really excited and like it made our experience better because we didn't just have the boat driver who obviously knows about it. One of his friends was on the boat and then his sister and her husband who I think owns the company, they obviously all came out. So I think it made it better. 
yeah. than like because it was felt a little bit fuller but like not full with just people who didn't know what was going on like they were telling us loads of stuff and you know pointing birds out so we saw a lot we saw like nightjar birds which was one of my dad's favorite birds which was funny one of the crocodiles was called stewie which i just thought that's so funny because that's my dad's name stew Stuart. um so yeah it was really good and it only cost us 18 pound each and we could have two rides of that so we if it was closer we could have gone back today and gone on and on gone south i think we went north or vice versa um so it's definitely worth the money it's a little bit like but if you're headed to the rainforest it's not out of the way but i wouldn't just drive for it i'd go to the rainforest too so yeah yesterday was really fun today we woke up i woke up at eight we didn't go to bed till quite late last night because i was up editing but I woke up and it was just torrential raining and I went back to sleep till half eight and woke up, it's torrential raining and it's still torrential raining. No, not torrential. No, yeah, no it's not. It's heavy rain though, is this. This is the current state. So we just come and grabbed, um, well this is my remnants of it, a little ice chai. She put ice cream in it without even asking and I thought that's the sort of people we need. Really nice. So, I've, I don't know, we're not really sure what to do today now. It's meant to be, we've been so lucky with the weather where it hasn't rained. Like it said yesterday it was going to be a washer and it really wasn't. Like we didn't really get much, like it didn't really ruin our day. But today I just don't really know what to do. So there's three waterfalls that we want to go and see. They're meant to be like beautiful. Everyone when they come to Cairns goes to see these waterfalls. The highlight I think I've seen the waterfalls is that you can also swim. And we can't. Why? Look at the rain. Well, it might not be raining there. It's about an hour away. Um, so I think we're probably going to have to do that, aren't we? Just get wet. Surrender to the wet. And to be fair, when you're under the trees, you don't actually get that wet. So I think that's what we're going to do. But, yeah, the rain isn't great. But also, considering we come in wet season, we haven't really had many days where we've been like, oh, we can't do what we wanted to do, like, at all. So we can't complain too much. Um, so I guess that's what we're going to do so come along, get excited hopefully the rest of the week it brightens up a little bit or at least it just like rains intermittently but I've um, got my denim jacket on from PLT and then I've just got my little another version set on New Balance Adenola socks and that's the outfit so let's go get wet I guess okay guys we made it to the first waterfall I believe there's three on the circuit so this is Mila, Mila, I don't really know how to pronounce that. But we've just parked the van off on a car park. I'm just going to walk down here, but I can already kind of see it and I can hear it. It's very late, I guess because of all the rain it's going to be. Here we go, guys. Here it is. She's big, she's bold, she's really splashing me from back here. This is the view. There's my boyfriend, there's the little river. So you can always swim in there, but obviously, conditions are not it. Next one, guys, is Zilly Falls. It's only like a five minute drive. I've got you on the GoPro because the rain's so bad. Oh, oh. Holy God, man. Oh, bad move, babe. Okay, guys, we're at the third and final of the circuit. To be fair, it's quite good because they're all within 15 kilometers, which I think is about 10 miles. This one is Elinja Falls. Here we go. I haven't even looked at this one, a picture of it. I sort of knew what the other ones looked like, so let's go. Here it is. She's wide. Okay, guys. Circ. Oh no. Going out of focus. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, ignore that for a minute. We have done all the waterfalls and we're gonna go and find some lunch now i found this place online like i was just following a circuit on like a like circuit itinerary on google and then they mentioned it so i had a look and it's like a little like farmhouse it's all made on site like a little farmhouse cat now one thing about me and all we're gonna love that so we're gonna go there for lunch this is a bit of an issue why does he do that we think we both really liked the last one. I did like the first, I liked all of them, but I really liked the last one. Um, uh, I, li I've, I liked, I said I liked where you could stand in the last one. The favourite one was probably the middle Oh one. yeah, the second one. Not the first one. 
Yeah, he said he looked a bit man-made, which I guess he can't, not man-made, but like less natural, which I guess he did, but very good. And the fact they're all like close together, it's worth the drive out. I was looking at the itinerary though, and it says to like spend like an hour at each. I think you need like five minutes. Like once you've seen it, unless it was sunny, I guess you have a little swim and like maybe have a bit of lunch, but obviously we can't really do that in this weather. So I found a little like farmhouse cafe. So we're gonna go there for lunch. Okay guys, this is the menu. So they've got little platters, they've got afternoon tea, and it's all made here, it just looks so good. They've got homemade ice cream as well. And then this is the menu. I'm gonna have the farmhouse chicken pie because I love myself a pie. They've got a lasagna. I know, I've seen, I'm all over there. <laughs> and then this is the drinks. It's really cute here though, like really quaint country. I'm so excited for a chicken pie. Let's see if it's better than mine. Date it. Date it. That's the attitude we like. But that's what I'm going to have anyway. Um, it comes with... Fuck <laughs> you! It comes, so it says, a traditional good shod chicken and vegetable pie served with salad and homemade dressing. It's called Mungale. Mungale. I'm not sure, but... And it's a biodynamic dairy farm. We are all about... Just stop. So annoying. And it says, we are all about happy cows, a healthy earth and real food. So I'll show you when it comes. Here we guys. Okay, lunch was all right. I feel like because I saw chicken pie on the menu, I was like, oh my God, we have to go. And it was like, it was nice, but it just wasn't. I don't know why that keeps happening. I don't think it was like, it, it was nice and it wasn't too expensive. So like it was fine, but it wasn't. It, I've had nicer farmhouse calves. Anyway, it is quarter to four and we're on the way home. We've been driving for probably about half an hour. We've got an hour left. So we're going to get back about 10 to five. Ollie's just ran to the toilet so I've had to put this on I don't know where my hoodie is and my denim jacket was so wet it's making me cold so I've just thrown on this it's from Hollister it's really cute I'm glad I got it I literally got it in store on a whim and it's beautiful so yeah that's what we are up to it stopped raining which is nice I'm in a really cute I don't know where we are what it's called um cane cutter maybe but look at that row no way he's back Hello. Hello. Okay, so I will. Fine, there you go. Thank you. I will see you guys when we're back. Well, guys, I left my camera because the batteries were dead. But if you watched the previous vlogs, is this any surprise to you that we've come to Oatberry for breakfast? When we first got here, I looked on the map and none come off and i was like oh my god like i was so sad because if you don't know oakberry aside the best it's actually got us through the trip like we've had god knows how much i dread to think how much money we spent here but it's so cheap it's so much cheaper than getting a soy bowl at home and we walked past this last night and i was like oh my god there's one here so we've come and got one i'm just sat waiting i'll show you when it's here Whoa. It's always the almond butter for me. We have to get some for home. Cheers. Guys, I don't even know where to start with this. But, let me shut this door. I have something to tell you. You ready? <laughs> Ollie proposed. I, I can't, I feel like, I, one, I wasn't even vlogging today because I felt really ill, like I just, we weren't really, we didn't have like the major plans. I didn't feel that well. The batteries were dead and 
we was at the beach. It was the cutest. I'll I'll have to do it briefly. It was just like really intimate, really cute. Like it just couldn't have been more perfect. And yeah. And he checked us into the really beautiful hotel, um, the Shangri-La. I've never stayed here before. It's gorgeous. The room, they upgraded us. Because I was like, <laughs> hello, I'm here to check in, you know? Um, they upgraded us. It's the most beautiful room. I just, I don't even know what time. I'm literally lost for words. But I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to give you a close up. My hand's really shaking. Look at that. Stop. Look how shaky I am. I just, I am in complete and utter shock still. Like, I I just can't. Um, I've just had a shower, washed my hair, did my makeup, and I'm ready. He's booked us. He's booked us some dinner re re reservations. And guys, I'm sorry. The shower. I felt like a queen. I, listen i'm all for romanticizing the camper holiday it's been so fun but that it, it, there's a bath I, <laughs> i'm sorry it's it was a lovely luxury to have but i yeah so this happened i i don't really know what to say i need to have a huge debrief with you but i thought i'd just come on and say <laughs> I can't believe it. But I also thought I'd give you a room tour. Excuse it, because we've been in here for about an hour and obviously we've got it messy straight away. But how nice is the bathroom? When I came in and realised it was a bath, I literally gasped. This is the bathroom. Look how nice the vanity is. Obviously, it's a huge mess. Um, oh, also, they gave us robes and slippers. This is the room. I think it's a deluxe king or something. Lovely mirror. This is the dress that I've got to wear. It's so pretty. Then that is Ollie's robe. Um, and then this is the room. It's really nice to give you a quick pan. Ollie's in his boxes, so um, this is so nice. And we've got a, like a view of the marina. So we've got this little cute balcony and then look how pretty that is. And the dinner place we're going to is actually, I think that. So it literally worked out perfect because we don't have to get an Uber or anything. We can just walk over. I've literally been like this all afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. So bad. You can't have small can you? No, I've literally like this. <laughs> and then if not that, it's plain. Literally just staring at my hand. I can't believe it. Literally no one knows either because it's, well, everyone will be up now. But no one was up. But I'd, I'm in two minds, so this is just a quick story time. I'll give you the five minute version. Ollie told my mum and grandma that it was going to happen before we come and showed them the ring and showed his mum. And then he texted my mum and was like, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do it. Not because he was scared, but because he was like, can't find the right moment, getting a little bit in his head. So my mum doesn't even think it's happening anymore. And we, like, we've only got, what, five days? Yeah, I just had a bit of a gut feeling, and Mia can back me up on this. I just said to her the day before I come away, I was like, I don't know why, I've just got a really gut feeling. I was like, Ollie's acting really strange. And everyone always says, you're going to know when it's going to happen. Like, if you know each other well, like, it's very unlikely that you're going to be, like, completely off guard. So I sort of thought it was going to happen. And then, like... It just wasn't happening, so I was like, oh, it's not happening. So then I was like, I, I, I was reluctant to say it, so I didn't want to ruin the surprise. But then, I, was it yesterday, the day before, I was like, just made a joke, like, oh, well, I did think you'd propose on this trip, you know? Mm. Um, but So I, no one knows. So in two minds, whether to keep it a secret and go home and be like, <laughs> look, or just whether we just FaceTime everyone, I don't know. I'll it's just keep it a surprise for now. Because yeah. I think, like, because my mum thinks it's not going to happen. Like when she picks up from the airport, she's not. She's just gonna think nothing of it. And then if I give her a hug and then go look, like she's gonna lose her head, isn't she? So I don't know. But anyway, we've got dinner, so I need to get myself dressed. But yeah, that's the update, girls. She's in her wife era. Hello. Good evening. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Have a good night. Bye.
look what they sent. We got fruit and chocolate. The lady at the desk was like, do you drink? And we were like, absolutely not. <laughs> Thought it would be a waste of champagne, but chocolate and fruit. Send it my way. Hey, the banana's rotten. Don't say that. Yeah. Look at that, I've never seen that before. I don't know what it is. Dragon fruit? I think it's like a, a cool thing. Oi, they give us honey. Honeycomb. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a little part. Come on, give me one. It's dark, it's yours. Oh, my God. Is it fun. actually that nice? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That one was so nice. This one not so much, that's coffee, that is. I don't have too much happy there. Can't believe it. What? Can't believe it. Every time I sell it to a hotel, it's just saying getting engaged. Oh no, just engaged. <laughs> going on? Yeah, just gonna do a quick OAT day. Okay, guys, this is my outfit. Dresses from Boho. If you guys watch the pack with me, you'll have seen it. It's really cute. It's like just a little milkmaid dress. I just scraped my hair up because obviously I just washed it. Um, I'm just putting like a messy little claw clip situation. It's a Boho coach. And then these little sandals are from. So let's go and have a really special dinner. Good morning. <laughs> I just, I still don't even know what to say guys. I literally feel in shock. We had the nicest night. We went to the called Salt, Salt Rock. Um, I think it was called. It was just like a restaurant overlooking the marina. It was good. It was, it was giving posh posh. They were like, you know, you just walk into somewhere and you're like, whoa, <laughs> we don't normally eat places like this. But I didn't vlog, obviously, because it was just one of like a cute night, the two of us. And what I love about me and Ollie is we're absolutely going to be in and out of dinner. Oh my God, I can't get you to stay, one sec. That's better. We're absolutely going to be in and out of dinner within an hour, because that's the way we like to do things. But we had a really lovely night, Ollie got a steak. I didn't actually feel that hungry. I feel like I was just like overwhelmed. And I, you know, when you're just like running off like energy, like I, I thought I can't even eat. I'm so fucking excited. I can't believe this is real life. I have literally dreamed of this and it's been like crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. But we, yeah, I got. I was literally so I got three little like small plates. I got tiger prawns which were unreal. I got fried calamari which had like this like dew on and it was insane. And then I just got flatbread with balsamic vinegar on. <sighs> insane. So no one knows. And I think I'm just gonna wait until we get home because I just feel like we're like, what day is it today? Yeah, so we fly back to Melbourne tomorrow and then we fly home on Saturday and we get home on Saturday night. And I feel like it would just be unreal to just like, cause I think um, like everyone's gonna be so excited. And I feel like it will just, I don't know, like I could FaceTime them and tell them, but I feel like it's gonna be so much more exciting to actually walk in and be like, hello, look, you know? So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, cause we're so close. And like, I wanna get everyone's in real reaction. Like I wanna be able to hug everyone and be like, ah, you know? Like I feel like it's just not gonna be the same over FaceTime. And it's also kind of nice to just have it like just just snow and be in this little like a little bubble. But I can't believe that one of in case like what the hell. So I was literally like, does even we get to get married? <laughs> it's so crazy. I really can't. Okay, guys, I'm just getting myself ready. I just did my skincare, threw this outfit on. It's all from Zara. If you watch the week vlog, you'll have seen this. I got it in the sale, so I don't think they'll still sell it, but it's a really cute, just like, 
It's giving Nan's tablecloth. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do my hair. Honestly, I'm just trying to re, I just had another shower. So I had a shower last night, we had a bath, I had another shower. I'm just trying to reap the rewards of the hotel, to be honest. So I thought I might as well put a roller brush through my hair while we're, while we're at it. I don't know how long it was. I have, have I got a roller? I have got a roller, but do you know what's happened? My clip has somehow, The clip that actually holds my roller in place has broke. So I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to put the roller in. But this is just the Mark Hill roller brush. I see, do any of you guys follow that girl? She is from the Netherlands. She's called Zara. I don't know what her last name is. It's like, it begins with a G, but she's 20 and she's got a little girl. She's really cool. Um, I'm sure you guys will have seen it. She sometimes does like English TikToks and she sometimes does TikToks talking in her like, what do you call that? Um, in her native language. So I'm sure you've got oh, Zara G-O-E, I don't know. But she somehow like curls her hair using this. Like not this exact one, but like a similar one. I just don't really understand how she like pulls it through and then like pulls it through the barrel. I don't understand. I'm just going to try and smooth it out. I did try it last night using the GHD duet, but I didn't draw it all that good. Um, still on cloud nine. Still just, I'm like this all the time. Look at Ollie. It's just so crazy. I feel so grown up. But yeah, if you guys know how to curl your hair using these, then please let me know. Well, it's not, yeah, it is a curl. It's like a proper bouncy curl. I just know how to like flick the ends, which still looks cute, but that fruit basket that they sent, we're just tucking into it now. Insane. I just tried dragon fruit. I don't know if I've ever tried it before, but it's really good. With the bangs, honestly, since having these cut, I've literally done nothing with them. I'm going to just like roll it from like this. Hold it. To be fair, it's not even that hot yet. I should wait. I'm so impatient. As soon as I turn this on, I'm like, okay, let's get the ball going, girls. Um, just like tension it off and then so that's in and then if you do it back I was sad about going home but now I'm not sad I'm so excited like I'm so excited to tell everyone and see everyone I mean I'm sad for the trip to be over but I feel like it's ended in such a nice Really wasn't your best work, Jodie. Okay, that's okay. We're not looking for anything crazy over here. Right, let's do the other side and then we'll go back in. This is literally what I do, okay? Get a portion, go down the brush because it go down the hair sorry, of the brush because it like smooths it out, and then with the ends, just get it and just. You can do this properly and like roll it all the way up and pin it and everything, but oh God, that's so cute. Oh yeah, it's getting hot now, it's curling it. Well, flicking it. Okay, so I don't really know what we're gonna do today. Obviously we would have planned today, but because of what happened last night, it was just, we just like, sort of forgot so the only other thing that was like on our itinerary for Cairns was to go to this place called Victoria Island and um, there's a ferry that goes like half one but to be fair it's quite expensive it's like almost as much as we paid for the trip to the Whitsundays and obviously with that you got snorkeling you got lunch you got like guided tours and all of that this is actually just a ferry that drops you off um, but we could go on that half one and then they then there's a ferry back up five um okay sorry you guys died um no sorry not died that was a lie you guys were on out of storage i've just freed some up this is how the hair ended up it probably won't stay <laughs> for all that long because it is raining at the moment but this is the fit it's all zara hair does look cute actually i feel like i just need to if this bit was more voluminous then they would pop um but this is how we are looking so Gorgeous, I'm obsessed. Um, 
So yeah, this is the hair anyway. I feel like I, I need, the next time I get my hair cut, I'm gonna say to my hairdresser, like, actually teach me, please. Like, I will pay to be taught. Like, it's just so, but you watch the hairdresser and you're like, oh my God, that's so easy. It's because it's their profession and they've actually been trying to do it and they do it every day. It's like when you watch, like, anyone do something they love, it comes naturally to them, so it's so easy. And then if you actually had to go, you're like, oh, okay, that's actually not that easy. Um, but yeah. The light in here, in here isn't really it, but we are ready. We've still got about 45 minutes, so we have to check out, so. No rush over here, but yeah, this top, I didn't, I do like it, but even when I tried it on, I was like, oh, it's fiddly, in it? It really is fiddly. <laughs> okay, guys, we're all checked out. We've got a for a walk. Do you want to get an iPhone or anything? I will. I wonder if they've got a battery train. Here? Yeah? Um, we're just going to check. Well, we've just checked out. Going to go get an iPhone. We... I just thought that before we left, I'd show you this hotel because it's stunning. I've never stayed in a Shangri-La, but it's beautiful. Look how nice. And then they've got these, like, hanging balls. No, 1090. 1090? and it was such a nice day so I definitely recommend it. Oh my god I've just got absolutely drained in the wet but we have just come to the night market it is five o'clock it's literally rained all day guys like non-stop so we just decided to tidy up the van and we packed all of our stuff off keep everywhere and clean and everything we just need to get some wipes to like wipe down the surfaces um, well at least that's done and then tomorrow if it's nice or whether we can like go out and about our flight isn't until 7 I think we dropped the van off at 12 so we've got like time um, in the day to sort of I don't know do what <laughs> but do something so we've just come to get some dinner neither of us have been feeling but I really like hungry for the last few days I really don't know what it is like all we've had is the acai bowl that you saw us have this morning and we've just not been hungry but I ordered myself some pasta, we were going to go and get a grill, but I just was like, I don't really fancy a burger, I've had so many. So I'm having a carbonara, I'll leave over there ordering something from one of the Thai um, standards. It's all like little street food vendors and it's really cool, so having pasta and then we're probably going to get a fruit prep and then probably just head back. We're both just like so tired and obviously tomorrow is going to be a day of travelling, so probably not much going on here, but... I just thought I'd pop on and say, too do but anyway, when I was walking in the rain then, all like, I don't know if it was my braid gel or my face cream or what, but it was all like dripping in my eyes and all under my eyes, like, sticky now, so good. So I'll show you when the pasta comes, I'm excited about it. Let's try it, let's try it. Well, it's over some bruschetta because we were waiting, so. What do you think? It's all right. It's so watery, though. No? Yeah. And where is the bacon? Barely any. It's very peppery as well. But the pasta is made in house. Yeah, the pasta is nice. Try it. The pasta itself is really nice. The flavours are there, it's just not quite it's not quite as good as mine at home. No. I would say the flavours aren't there. It's very peppery, isn't it? Mm. Well, that was disappointing. But we are at a night market. And that means crepes. Fruit crepes. We are just getting two crepes. I actually can't believe how horrible that must have been. But it's okay with me. We love these crepes. So I've had strawberry olives with kiwi. So yeah, literally right when you come to the night market. Got it. How insane. 
guys, I realised that I never gave you a full tour of the camper van. So before it goes back, this is just a mini tour of it. You can just see like how it looks from the exterior and what the interior looks like. I think ours was roughly four years old, so you could definitely get more modern ones and probably older ones. This is just like a standard one, I guess, but this is just a little mini tour of it before it goes back. how happy I am to be back in Melbourne I just love it literally I woke up this morning and I just was like I'm so happy I know the trip's coming to an end and it's sad but I just love it here so we're staying with Ollie's friends their apartment's just up there we just went and grabbed some breakfast with Luke got ourselves a little coffee and um, this is my outfit today there's in the way the course is from super down it's a brand off revolve it's a really cute white quarter i've never worn it but i thought it was you know the first little hint of bridal <laughs> <laughs> and then i've got on my cotton on shorts coach bag and just my primark sandals but we're gonna go to st kilda beach because we never actually went there when well you did didn't you yeah did you go i, I swear you went no, the only yeah. time I went to St Kilda is when we went with Rooney and Luke, but it was dark uh, and we just yeah, went yeah, to the park. the park. But the Formula One's here this weekend too, we're thinking it might be a little bit busy. Um, but we're going to go and have a little look at the beach and then our plans for the day, it's about one o'clock. We're going for dinner with our friends, well my friend Ellie, her husband and then the um, couple that we met at the wedding, um, Sam and Jackson. We're going to go for dinner with those tonight and then get the train down get the train back and then we've got a full day here tomorrow so yeah i thought i'd just say good morning it's not too hot here but it's nice just such nice weather here so much nicer like in cairns you can just i, don't, I can't i don't think we've got the worst of it though because everyone says it gets grey but from what i know it's not good. yeah i think we've just we've seen i don't know just nice weather i guess um but I'm very happy to be here. The flight really wasn't bad. It was like half an hour quicker as well. It only took us three hours. We got in, a, we landed at literally 12 o'clock by half one, 20 past one, we were back at the apartment. So that was good. And um, my hand's hurting, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> but I just wanted to say good morning. Your girlie's back in Melbourne. Melbourne, Melbourne, I, d I don't know. Um, Melbourne <laughs> and I'm very happy about it, so. Guys, how pretty. It's a little bit windy, but how nice. There's like some rangers and little umbrellas that you could sit right by the beach on, but I guess it's shut because it's not that busy. Um, we're just literally on the seafront having a little sit down. The weather is so nice because it's not too hot. Just, you know, sun on the face. Hello, guys. I'm just in Melbourne Centre. I just went to the toilet. I just want to go back. Oh, here he is. He's trying to call me. Anyway, um, we were in Melbourne Central, Ollie was looking for a car, but honestly I'd love to go shopping and buy one. Oi, you asking yourself? Who is it? Oi, I, I, I ain't gonna get out of this. Oh, uh, my mom's so. like... Oi. Sorry guys, Ollie's... Um, <laughs> Ollie's best friend was at work today. He's just called like, what are you doing then? You're back. Because um, we didn't see him. So by the time we woke up this morning, he'd gone to work. He was like, it's not enough just to see you tomorrow. He's like, oh, I need to see you now. But obviously we're going to see my friend for dinner. So I was like, too bad, sorry. Um, anyway, we're just wandering around Melbourne Central. I guess Ollie didn't get a car while I was in the toilet. But yeah, the temptation to buy more clothes is honestly so real. But my case was already over yesterday, three kilograms, and I had to pay, so I'm probably gonna end up paying again. But I don't know whether the charge stays the same, like if it was an extra five, would they charge me more, or would they charge me the same? I don't know. <laughs> so, wow. I'm just gonna resist, so I'm gonna resist. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. This is the first one I'm running, I wanna go to the second one. Okay, we don't have that much time, we need to pass through. Um, here we are. 
Did you see any more of these Oh, I didn't even know. Do you like this? Um, what, you want to go in the second shopping centre? The Emporium one? Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Um, okay, yeah, that's what we're doing, guys. And then we're going to go and have dinner, and then we're getting the train back tonight, and then we'll have a full day tomorrow. Yes. I can't believe I'm sat here saying that it's our last day in Australia. I just think like it, it's so weird because I feel like we've obviously done so much and we've had like the best time, you know, it feels like we've been here for so long, but it also has just come so fast. Like I can't believe this like trip that we've been talking about, you know, this like huge trip that we have been planning for so long and like so excited for is coming to an end. Like it just feels so, 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 so crazy. I just, I can't get my head around it. I obviously didn't vlog last night, mainly because I just had such a lovely night and um, I tend not to vlog with like my friends like that, that aren't online themselves. So anyway, just some beautiful fajitas. We just all chatted. It was so nice to see Sam and Jackson again. Cause like I said, we met them at the wedding and to be honest, me and Ollie don't really make friends that easily. We're not very, well, I say, I say me, but we can both be a little bit introverted and like, especially if we've got each other, like we just sort of like, we're all right. We don't need to go, you know, put ourselves out there, but we just met them and we got on with them so well straight away. Um, so that's so, it was so nice. Like it, it feels like nice. Cause we have like a, like a community of people here. So it's not like, it doesn't really feel like just like a holiday. And then obviously we got back last night about half 10, I think. And then Ollie's two, um, two of his best friends were are here. Um, so we just sat with them for a couple hours chatting and then yeah, it's our last day. And I just can't believe it to be honest. Can't believe like we're flying home in the morning. Crazy. So we're gonna have a fun last day anyway. I'm gonna make the most of it. It's a beautiful day. I think we're just going to maybe go down to the beach, just have like a little chill day at the beach and then tonight Ollie's going to go and play football with his friends um, and then we're all going to go out for dinner to say goodbye. So it will be a cute day, it will be a lovely day, Just but I just can't get over how fast it's gone. I'm just getting myself ready, I'm not going to do makeup or anything but just do my skincare. I'll tell you what those products are now. Just curl my lash okay bioma birds in face mist love Laneige hyaluronic so i love this and one of you guys got it off my recommendation and, and you messaged me and was like oh my god like i don't know why more people don't talk about this it's insane and i was like i never lie to you girls and then this is the moisturizing cream i've literally got none of this left so i'm gonna have to get a new one of that but to be fair since i've been here um, if you like watch my weekly vlog, not that I was struggling massively with my skin, but I was struggling massively for me, like in terms of my skin. Um, it, I don't know what it was like, whether it was hormonal or just, I don't know, like for the past six-ish months, I've just been getting weird, like, I mean, I've still got a few spots here, but they're not like, they're not juicy spots, they're under the skin, which is typically what I get. And I wish someone could tell me an answer for that. Like, is there a difference in what spots you get? depending on what the root problem is, I don't know. But since being here, obviously I've not really worn makeup. And I think more than anything, the sunshine just really helps. And I've also struggled for years, like since I guess I went into like that puberty age, always getting spots on my back. And like they've come and gone over the years. But honestly, the only thing that has ever actually truly worked is getting myself out in the sunshine. And unfortunately that is what we really lack in England. But yeah, my skin is pretty clear. Like I've got a few spots, but nothing crazy. Just like a few here, but they're always under the skin. Um, but I'm, it's tons better and it feels a lot like cleaner. And also I've just been keeping the skincare really, 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 really simple. And I always find that that helps. Like it's so nice to have this like 20 step skincare routine. Cause you feel like that girl and it's like that girl morning routine, you know, and you're doing all this stuff, but and I think sometimes it is fun, like even if it's once a week to put like, you know, everything on and really treat yourself. But I think day to day, just a simple, just a little simple routine is where it's at for me personally. Anyway, 
Um, that's what I found. I'm just going to put a bit of this on. It's just a Laneige makeup serum. You can use it as like a primer, but it gives me a really nice... It really reminds me, if any of you guys followed me back in 2021, like I doubt a lot of you did, but if you did, I was obsessed with this Boots. They still sell it, actually. It's only like £3. It's, this is like... I don't get it because this is... It's almost like a dupe of this, but this is obviously more expensive because it's Laneige, but this is quite new. It was just like a glowy serum, and I'm not joking, you used to put it on and my skin would look like glass. Like, see how much hydration that's given my skin? It was insane, and the boots were the same. I just can't believe how fast this has gone. I feel like me and Ollie need to do a little roundup of our favourite, you know, our favourite places. It just, yeah, I can't describe, everyone keeps saying that, has it gone fast? I don't know. Like, Ellie's wedding doesn't feel that long ago, for it to have been a month ago, but also like the gold coast last year like i i can't explain it it's so strange so our flight is at 6 a.m on saturday morning um we are leaving for the airport about 2 a.m so we're not going to sleep tonight but i think we've decided that if we try and sleep as much as possible on the flight from melbourne to dubai it's a 13 and a half hour flight i think we've decided if we sleep as much as we can on that flight when we get to dubai we're going to try and get ourselves awake and then stay awake because we land in england at 6 p.m saturday so we like gain the day back but obviously we leave at 6 a.m and land at 6 p.m but we're going to have traveled for like 24 hours so i don't really understand how that works but that is how i think we're going to try and deal with it and hopefully that works i just think the jet lag is going to be absolutely crazy if you guys have got any tips for jet lag let me know because when you're watching this video i'm going to be struggling um and i feel like when we got here the jet lag didn't really hit us as much i think it was like three days in but i also think when you're actually on the holiday like you you're willing to power through the jet lag because you're on holiday and it's so exciting at home not going to be so much fun Okay, that is me. Done. I'm just going to throw a fit on and then we're going to head out for the day. So I'll grab you guys, but I just wanted to say good morning. And this is how we're looking. Just glowy. Hello, guys. We have come for a little bit of lunch. We are where we, you know, where we sat yesterday. And I was like, how cute the little um, beach seats. It's the restaurant attached. So it's, here, it's called Beach Comba. Beach um, I think I'm gonna get this a little Greek. Ollie's gonna have fish and chips. Yeah, but it's um, it is rocking. What is rocking? Rocklin. Google that. I don't know. No, never heard of that. It's quite a good menu though. But I just am really fancying. It, you can't get chicken or lamb. But I feel like lamb sometimes a little bit tastier. And um, skewers with pita bread, tzatziki, and Greek salad. I thought that sounds nice, so I'm gonna get that. You love a cow for a day, yeah. Oh, no. On the camera. Hope you enjoy that one, girls. <laughs> Should have asked for a lion. I always forget. Guys, how good does this look? Our last society. So sad. If you guys want the order, they do have them at home, but I don't think they have one in like Manchester or anywhere. I think it's just London. We get, we've just had some more because we're not even hungry, but we saw one and it's our last chance to have one. So we get banana, strawberry, kiwi, crunchy almond granola, and they're like frozen bits. I think it's so good. So we get the cacao nibs. We've started not having chia seeds because the last few that we've had chia seed wise. When we were first having them, they like mix it all in and you just get like a nice bit. Last few we had in Cairns, it, like they would just put like a dollop of cheese seeds at the bottom. And it sort of ruined it, so we've, we've got rid of that. And we have almond butter. And almond butter, I'm not even joking yet. It's just fresh. I don't like peanut butter. I hate it. This though, I'm so passionate about this, I could just actually sit and talk to you guys. I could do a whole vlog about it. I love it. This so much. We're passionate, aren't we? About this? Yeah. Mom is good. He's that good that I don't know. 
I want an open one. I think I'm going to bring oat berry to the West Midlands. Coffee brown would definitely benefit from an oat berry. I know. I don't know why that smoothie van does it have the sway balls. Let's try it. So much. I've got to start making them at that time for us. Right now, I need to see that. <laughs> you get the same amount of fruit in a small one as you do a large. Fruit, I know. You should build them. How about fun, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, I thought I'd just give you a little eight foot of the day. This top is from Primark actually. They had it in sage green and they also had it in like a beige colour. It's really cute. I wish I got both colours, but it's like a knitted top and it ties on the side. I've got it on the pink bra, which isn't really the best, but it was the only one that I'd had in my hand luggage. But it was easily grabbable. Um, but it's really cute. I really like it. It's like 11 pound. And then the shorts are Zara. And then the shoes are the Primark ones. Um, and this is also from Primark. I got this colour and it's got like a pinky colour. It's really cute. So yeah, I thought I'd give you an outfit the day before I get changed because it's so cold. So when we go back out later, I'm going to put on a different outfit. So, so I'll just show you now. Hello, angels. Right. It is our last evening. Ollie has just come to join in with his friends like football team match. I don't really understand. Um, it was outside, but I was like, I saw a Woolworths, a little shopping centre. I don't think there's any like actual shops. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. I think Woolworths might actually have been down there. Oh, I don't know. It's just Big W. Do you know what Big W is? I thought I meant Big Woolworths, but I'm not actually sure. I look like a bald egg. <laughs> I've had a shower, I'm all ready for the flight, but what we really want to do is get like some Australian snacks to take home for our families and stuff. Let's go and see what Big W is. I'm thinking it might actually be a bit like Target. I thought that it was like a big Woolworths, but I don't think so. Let's have a look anyway. But yeah, I want to get some like Tim Tams, you know, Australian food that we don't get in England basically to take home for our families. I'm not going to get loads because we haven't got all the space, but hold on me. I'm gonna have a little look. Yeah, I think this is this is my weird. It reminds me a little bit of sorry. Uh, oh, they've got a bit of food. Tech. Yeah, I just wanna get some little bits and bobs to say, you know, we're home. Okay, we got to Woolworths, so let's go and get some goodies. You know what I would love a Ned's coffee. I haven't had one, I haven't seen any. I'd love to have one. Oh, there's one there. I know, Chucky. Yes, iced coffee. Yes, this is literally my favourite iced coffee. I'm going to get one. I haven't seen it for ages. Okay, I'm going to get some of these for everyone. Are these like the ones? Or are they small? I can't tell whether these are full size ones or not. I think I'm going to get two of these. Okay, and then I'm just going to get an original Tim Tams. I might get two packs. Then we really like the double coat and also the dark ones are nice. I feel like if we're getting these, no, we're getting a double coat. Maybe let's get a dark. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get one of these and then I'll get a white pack too. Okay, we secured the goods. Hello guys, we are at the airport. It is currently. 3.10. Our flight is at 6. We got here. We literally went straight through. Obviously never know of airports how um, busy it's going to be, but it was, it, well, it's dead. Everything's shut. It looks like a really cool airport. There's like loads of design shops where everything's shut. I don't know what time they're going to open. Maybe 5. But all the food shut. There's actually like a W.A. Smith open and a bakery. Um, so our travel home. We have a 13 and a half hour flight. Well, actually the flight here was 13 hours and a half. The flight home is 13 hours and 55 minutes to Dubai. And then from Dubai, it's like seven and a half, I think back to Birmingham. So we leave here at six, we get home. Um, I look so bald, but we get home at 6 p.m. 
so the jet lag's gonna be crazy but guys this is the end of the australia content i can't, actually can't believe we're at the end like i feel like <laughs> i just can't believe it's at the end like normal content is going to be resuming but as always i'm going to tell you guys my favorite part of the trip you know my peak and my pit kardashian style and i feel like obviously the peak is so obvious that goes without saying but i feel like my just general peak i feel like we peaked at byron bay didn't we ollie's so ollie got a little bit tipsy at the bar and he's like fully crashed now he's like lying on the chair it's like there's no one here there's like 10 people in here i swear um and the but the check-in man told us that no one sat next to us on the plane did you hear him say that all so what that there's no one sat next to us on the plane yeah we've got a row to ourselves and the way it looks i reckon this flight's going to be dead because ollie's friend did this same flight 6 a.m from melbourne back to dubai and he says no one was on the plane and they all had rows to themselves and um, so they literally all just lay down and fell to sleep and we also had that flying from cairns it was so much better weren't it because I, I could put my legs out a bit more where's that yeah it is it's a real freedom so my peak obvious getting engaged and i think like my actual peak like favorite place of the trip <laughs> you look absolutely fucked you're going for about 100 instagram stories <laughs> My, I think my favourite place that we went would definitely be Byron Bay. Like, well, Melbourne, yeah. yeah. Those are the Melbourne. highlights, I'd say. Like, Gold Coast is fun. Like, let's just do a quick rundown. Melbourne, we are obsessed with the city. Like, if we were going to come and live here, we would live in Melbourne, for sure. I feel like it feels very, like, home from home. There's a lot of English people around as well. Like, so, and obviously our friends are here, so there's, like, a bit of a community. So I guess that added to the experience. We loved Melbourne. You don't feel like a tourist. Like, you really fit in. Sydney, I would say, you feel very touristy. Obviously, it's, like, lots of tourist hotspots, like the Opera House. And it's a nice city, don't get me wrong. Like, if you're coming all the way to Australia, you've obviously got to go and see it. But I wouldn't say, like, expect a lot from it. But apparently the nightlife is meant to be quite good. Obviously, we didn't experience any of that because we don't drink. Byron Bay, we loved. But like Ollie just was trying to say, I'm not sure whether you guys heard, but um, you don't need, like... You don't need days there. It's a very small town, but it just has a really nice, like, free, hippie... The beaches are beautiful. It has that sort of vibe. And we just loved it there. Like, the sunsets were incredible. There was lots of nice restaurants. Like, it was very built up, even though it was fairly small. Um, then where do we go? Gold Coast. Again, really nice, but, like, not loads to do, unless you want to do the theme parks. Um, Brisbane... We only spent a night there. It wasn't our favourite place. Again, doesn't seem like much to do. And some of Ollie's friends lived there for three months. Did you did your friends live there in Brisbane? Yeah. And like they got a bit fed up of Brisbane after a while because there's not like tons to do. Sunshine Coast, lots of nice beaches. Obviously, that's where New Surrey is really cute. And um, then where but did I think we? In, in Melbourne, there's the trams as well. Brisbane. Yeah. And the yeah, so yeah. Melbourne is just boys. so good. Because the trams are so They're there every everywhere. five, ten minutes. And it's still close. Yeah, the yeah. It's so handy, the public transport in Melbourne. That's the best public transport in Australia, in my opinion. One sec. Sorry, it ran out of storage. We've got 13 minutes to chat now. Um, yeah, the public transport in general is a lot better than here than in England everywhere we've been buses are way more reliable trains are like everything's so cheap you just get like little cards and you can top them up and like we've probably not spent more than a hundred dollars on public transport and like we had traveled around Melbourne for two weeks we had them in Sydney they last so long we've probably spent like 50 pound on public transport um it's really good so yeah where did i get up to sunshine coast lots of just like cute little beaches again not like loads of things going on um i think probably when it's the summer months there's more stuff going on obviously it all depends when you come and what you actually want from the trip obviously this is coming from two people that don't drink haven't done that like hostel backpacker lifestyle like, obviously we've kept ourselves to ourselves um then early beach must do place like beautiful like going to like the Whitehaven beach and everything it was just so nice like it's again a really nice town like similar to Byron built up lots of nice restaurants but like you probably want like five days there max um 
and like obviously you do the day trips and whatever which I've told you guys about and then Cairns thoughts on Cairns? Um, it was a nice place it would have felt nice if the weather was nice yeah I think because we like the further we went off we were like chasing the wet season and like Cairns obviously wasn't the best weather it was quite cloudy and stuff but we still had a lovely time yeah but it's more like day trips, like the actual city itself doesn't have like a lot going on. It's quite fairly, it's like fairly small and it's more like you can, it's a good like, a good hub. But obviously that made it so good. So I feel like my peak, yeah, it was Byron Bay in terms of play. It's like we just were very happy there and it was like a turning point with the camper as well. I went into a little bit onto my Instagram to all for you guys. But like the camper van to start with was quite rough, I think, because we just didn't really think of the reality of we were going to be in it for a month. Like we were just thinking, like, oh, we're going to be able to drive in it, and you know, we're not going to have to worry about flying and booking hotels and hostels. And it was more of like that affordable route um, and like convenient route. And then when we got in it, we were a bit like, oh god. But I feel like in Byron Bay, we got ourselves on a lovely site. It had really good facilities, and we were like, okay, this isn't going to be so bad, you know so that was definitely my peak my pit honestly guys is just coming home like it was just not not long enough like i could literally sit here and cry i feel like we could have spent a year here like a a year and like would it be enough um there's just so much to do and like the it's just a different vibe like we've been talking about it all night with all these friends like the vibe here is so different like i feel like in england you can get quite caught up with like what other people are doing and stuff not everyone but i feel like it's just a complete different culture here it's like all very well from what we've seen like people we've spoke to who live here and have moved over here it's just so different like really relaxed and like it literally ollie's friend put it so right like in england you come across so many people that are like really miserable in their lives and like feel trapped in in australia you as with me like we really haven't come across people like that like everyone just is so much happier and carefree like it's just yeah it's really sad to leave to be honest i wish that we had like a six month trip here um but i am excited to go home purely just to one obviously build my house back up and that's exciting so it's gonna be a lot of hard work but it'll it's, at least we have something to focus on obviously so excited to tell everyone about this like i actually can't i'm so excited and at least we have like we're not just going home to not like, nothing like we're going into a nice new chapter of our life so it, it does feel exciting but we're so sad to be going home like it's rough we've just i feel like it's gone so fast and like it's just gone so fast we haven't even realized it's going past like going by so fast you know so thank you for coming along on the journey wait though what's your peak and pit i'd say my favorite part was making what? me a wife no i said boring by <laughs> that's what i said too um pit pit when you were crying in the camp on the first night yeah that was so rough guys i feel like i've come around though yeah you come around. it was just a bit of a shock like the first night but and it's been so nice to see our friends yeah. especially for ollie because his actual friendship group is here but it's been so nice to see ellie and like when we left them yesterday when we left them yesterday like i like it was quite not emotional but it kind of was because like the chances of us coming over here to watch her get married were so slim like we have not lived in the same country for 13 years like it's just crazy like how things work out and like that was definitely a big peak for me like seeing her again and just like having a friendship that's lasted that many miles and that many years and we're literally complete different people but it's been so nice so yeah thank you guys so much for watching our traveling australia journey i'm so excited to take you guys on the next like few new chapters of our life it's going to be a very exciting time get excited for the weekly vlogs to be back lots of spring summer fashion i feel like we're going home at a good time as well i feel like we're coming out of winter and um, you know it's gonna get lighter and all of that so i'm so excited to get back to 
normal programming but I am so sad to be leaving Australia unbelievably so yeah thank you for watching if you've watched all five or however many episodes five or six I'm not sure I'm gonna edit the rest of this on the way home and get it up for you guys as soon as possible and I can't wait to tell you guys that we got engaged it feels like I'm holding such a secret like whenever I post anything on Instagram I'm like but I'm actually a few days behind on Instagram um like I'm I don't even I think I'm like two days behind so yeah I love you guys so much please subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me if you subscribed and stuck around and maybe if you found me from the Australia vlogs and now you're thinking hmm am I gonna still like this girl at home please subscribe please stick around we're gonna get straight back into house renovations building our house back up we're gonna get I want to get into like more of a fitness healthy lifestyle I feel like Australia has inspired me to get back into that like healthy lifestyle so I'm gonna do all of that obviously a little bit of wedding planning possibly which is so much fun and yeah love you guys so much thank you for being the best friends and I will see you when I'm back on UK soil <laughs> love you goodbye